this is my Sega Brickmakers. With another FNAF video, and this theory is way better and way more mind blowing. Mm -hmm. This is about JJ's true identity, and yeah. So basically, what I'm trying to say is that JJ You're is, is actually fun time balloon boy. Um, what about the color scheme? Um, this is technically correct. But no, 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 you, no, no, no. you might be wondering, but how? And obviously, if you know about William Afton and the energy going inside his body, then you know that it's quite possible that the now this location happens before FNAF 2. So we're on the move, we're going somewhere. And um, yeah, so my theory is if you look at JJ's eyes, they're purple. And in night four, JJ says, you know, I kidnapped you into a suit. Um, and all that good stuff. So kidnapped you into a suit. And to protect you from one of the, uh, but from the other drugs, since I had nowhere else to hide you. And I think that that is actually JJ, that suit from Circus Baby's old pizzeria. And I think that he, that, he, sorry guys, um, uh, you almost done with this theory because I can't, I need to get in the car. Yeah. Um, but and I need to say something, a little something at the end of it. Okay. So the fun, um, so going on. A lot of people said, no, this is Fun Time Chica or one of the actual spring lock animatronics. And I think this is not true. And, uh, well, okay, I just hold this. Uh, well, I need to show them something. Uh, I'll get it. I'll get it. No, it's, it's fine. Well, I, I need to show them something. So, basically, um, the, how do you get out of this? Oh, yeah. So, <laughs> just giving out the house to look at something. Um, so, let's see. Oh, yeah. JJ, if we go into an image, this, no, that's Photoshop. This, this is from FNAF World. And if you look, there are also a, a lot of other images, even though that's only, yeah, this one. You can clearly see that Scott does upgrade his sprites. And if you look at his eyes, they are purple. Now, I also think that this is, um, that another thing is, is proof that the little girl that you see is related to you in Clement Freddy's sis location, who is William Afton, who I will cover in the sis location storyline video. So, basically, uh, something I wanted to point out it was all about Shadow Bonnie and Shadow Freddy. Well, they are also purple guy. And if you look at Shadow Freddy, you can see it just because it's purple in general. And in Shadow Bonnie, it's because it's Springtrap, which is purple guy's favorite costume. Um, and yeah, that's basically proof. Now, if you want even more proof, then we're going to go on to a character named Ennard. A.K.A. the animatronic that's possessed by your daughter from the secret ender. So, Ennard is who inhabits Purple Guy's body. More in depth. Yeah. So, um, little gross, little gross. Um, spoiler alert. Uh, baby leads you into a place called the scooping room, and they scoop out your innards. Yay! Okay, let's not talk about that. Okay. Um, and... Ennard is a play on words. Get it? Ennard, Ennard. Oh my god. So, yes. Uh, we will be, um, so basically, the Ennard, as we see, is a hybrid in between all the animatronics. Yes. But he obviously has a base endoskeleton that has been here throughout the whole entire time, as, which is Baby's old endoskeleton. Baby has been scooped in the past after Baby killed Purple Guy's child. Wait, did they... Alright, question. What? Did they kill... Did they kill you and then scoop out your stuff? Or did they do it while you're still alive? 
well, they just lure you into the room, and they're like, scoop all your hands for a moment. So, no, they don't kill you before they scoop all your hands. You mean, interested in McDonald's, um, chicken nuggets? Wait, but, so then, wait, does the guy die right away? Yeah, obviously, if your innards are taken out. No, but I meant, like, you're traumatized. Like, if you're, if you're, you know what, never mind. No, it, no, you want to Okay, just, that. just continue with it. Yeah. Well, I think that the base endoskeleton of Ennard, who was the original baby's endoskeleton, was also a skeleton in either Toy Spring Bonnie or regular Spring Bonnie. Again, I will cover that in the Five Nights at Freddy's story video. I do believe that there was a Toy Fred Bear and a Toy Spring Bonnie and a regular and regular. Um, so yeah, a lot of this I am waiting for another Five Nights at Freddy's video. Now, getting to a little more of a mind-blowing thing. Remember how... Five Nights at Freddy's 3, there was gas leaks that led to the place being burnt down. Sound familiar? Remember in the teaser if, uh, that said cancel due to lease, and if you brighten it up, it says gas leaks and blah, blah, blah for Circus Babies Pizzeria? Fe Fazbear's Fright was where the original Fred Bear's Family Diner was, a.k.a. Um, a.k.a. where... Circus Babies uh, Pizzeria was supposed to be. So, if you want to see more Five Nights at Freddy's dislocation theories and Five Nights at Freddy's, leave a like and a comment and subscribe. Bye, guys! And also, one thing. We will be doing a lot of Star Wars videos now since well, the new Rogue One movie is coming out. And also, I'm going to be doing a video soon. A, um, a Star Wars video. Why? A, a theory. Why are the blade, why are Star Wars blades tipped? And I'll explain a little something about Kylo Ren's blade. So bye.